Hi choir, this week's song is If Music Be the Food of Love, uh, in a setting by Henry Purcell. Uh, Purcell made three settings of the song, um, the second is the most famous, and that's the one we're going to do today. It was written in 1693, um, Purcell's dates are, if you like dates, 1659 to 1695, so this was written two years before his death. Um, you'll recognise the title as being from a play by Shakespeare. Um, the rest of the lyrics for this song uh, were written by Colonel Henry Heveningham, um, as a kind of reaction, I think, to the Shakespeare. Um, now, let's go straight into the song. So learning line by line, as, we, as we're doing, um, on, in the YouTube channel, there are accompaniments for the song in this key, which is the lowest key we're going to do it in, um, in D. Um, there's also one in G, and if I have time, I'll do one in E as well. So the G is really soprano, tenor territory, uh, the one in E will be mid territory, and this, this is a nice, nice, comfortable key for everyone to just get to learn it. Um, on YouTube, also, you'll see me playing the harpsichord and the cello at the same time, which is quite fun. Um, now we have the technology. Anyway, line by line. Uh, there's no introduction to this song, so uh, in the accompaniments on YouTube, you just get a chord, and then you're in. Okay, so let's just do line by line. First line. If music be the food of love. Your turn. Two, three. If music be the food of love. Next line. Sing on, sing on, sing on, sing on. Okay, let's do that again. Sing on, into bar two. Sing on, sing on, sing on, sing on. Now you'll see in the additional made of the song that it's really good text-wise to go into the next little bit. So you end it, well, we'll do the next line and we'll put it together. So you have... Till I am filled, am filled with joy. Just that bit from till I am filled, end of bar four, till I, three, four. Till I am filled, am filled with joy. Let's just do lines two and three together so you can get the idea of how it makes more sense to elide the text. So sing on, sing on, the end of bar two. Sing on, sing on, sing on, sing on, till I am filled, am filled with joy. And it's nice to punctuate where the words repeat as well. Again, in the addition, I've put a comma there. But if you're just learning this from YouTube, yeah, you'll just learn it with me. Let's just do up to there. So from the very beginning up to there. Up to two, three. Two, three. If music be the food of love, sing on, sing on. Sing on, sing on, till I am filled, I'm filled with joy. Okay, so it's a really nice dynamic um, sound for song. Okay, we get a bit more reflective for the next bit. The upbeat to bar seven. For then my listening soul you move. Listen to it once. For then my listening soul you move. Your turn. For then, up to four, three, four. For then my listening soul you'll move. And then the next phrase, same words, a bit higher, different notes. Three, four. For then my listening soul you'll move. Let's just do that slowly. Just listen to the notes once. Okay, sing with the pitches. Three, four. For then my listening soul you'll move. Sing in soul. One more go. Three, four. For then my listening soul you'll move. And again, it's nice if you can go through the next phrase, depending on what speed you're going at. Let's just go from the next phrase to pleasures that can never cloy. Three, four. To pleasures that can never cloy. Once more. To pleasures. Three, four. To pleasures that can never cloy. Let's go up to there. At a nice speed. I'll put a bit of the bass in as well from the very beginning. Okay, up we go. Three, that's right, one, two, three. If music be the food of love, sing on, sing on, sing on, sing on, till I am filled, I'm filled with joy. For then my listening soul you'll move, for then my listening soul you'll move. Really excited 
and it's nice to separate all these texts out because you're identified in different things your eyes your mean your tongue and then go through to declare so we get your eyes your mean your tongue declare that you are music everywhere let's do that again your eyes uh, three for your eyes, your mean, your tongue, declare that you are music everywhere. Once more, that phrase for good luck, your eyes. Three, four, your eyes, your mean, your tongue, declare that you are music everywhere. The next phrase is similar, but with a different starting note. Okay, so you could go, your eyes, your mean, your tongue, declare that you are music everywhere. So the first time it's your eyes, the second time it's your eyes. But um, in the little edition I've made and for the teaching video, we're going to give it a little bit of ornamentation because Baroque ornamentation is all part of the style. And so we're going to add a little, uh, little uh, sort of body chorus. We get... Your eyes, your mean, your tongue, declare. Let's just do that. So this is the repetition of the words. We're giving it some ornamentation so it's different from the first time and more expressive. So upbeat to bar 18. Your eyes, your eyes, your mean, your tongue, declare that you are music everywhere. And the final part of that phrase is the same as the first time. And that's the end of the first verse. Uh, this is a strophic song, so it's two verses. The second verse has the same music, different words. Let's just sing both of those your eyes phrases. So this is the upbeat to bar 13, so you'll get the difference. I'll do it twice. Again, listen uh, first time, sing the second time, or just rewind it several times to hear it several times. Upbeat bar 13. Three, four, your eyes, your mean, your tongue, declare that you are music everywhere. Your eyes, your mean, your tongue, declare that you are music everywhere. Good, and think to make sense of the song, you have your eyes, your mean, your tongue declare that you are music. So try and make sense by where you breathe, etc, etc, which I didn't do uh, in one of those that time. One more go on that, upbeat to bar 13, and then we'll sing the whole of verse 1. Your eyes. Three, four, your eyes, your mean, your tongue declare that you are music everywhere. Your eyes, your mean, your tongue declare that you are music everywhere. Okay, let's do the whole of verse one. From the very beginning. So you get a chord. Okay, off we go. One, two, three. If music be the food of love, sing on, sing on, sing on, sing on, till I am filled, am filled with joy. For then my lips sing so you'll move, for then my lips sing so you'll move. so good because I was too busy thinking about breathing in the bass clef so I got my words wrong hopefully you got your words right because you're just looking at them let's do it all again in fact let's just do the bit I got wrong let's go from bar 13 your eyes your mean okay with the bass line and the right breathing okay three so up to bar 13 your eyes three four your eyes your mean your tongue declare that you are mean two you could sing um, exactly the same with exactly the same notes apart from the first one uh, you don't have an upbeat so it's not okay we start straight on the beat and we have just one note 
pleasures in vain for to rather if music be the we have just pleasures in vain for okay and then it's pretty similar except the words happen um in um so some of the words are a bit longer and repeated. Let's, we'll, we'll, let's just do it. We'll discover it as we do it. Um, in the addition, I've put in some suggested ornaments. So I'll do it with and without both times. Let's do the first verse, uh, sorry, first line of the second verse uh, with without ornaments, which would just be, uh, so pleasures, bar 23. Pleasures invade both eye and ear. Just that much. Pleasures invade both eye and ear. Three, four. Pleasures invade both eyes and ear. Now, we've done lots of ornament practice and lots of ha 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 ha. Okay, so all the ornaments I've put in here, um, you could use that diaphragm um, sort of uh, laughter to, to help your ornaments work. You need it anyway in the song because uh, even in Purcell's thing, we have filled with joy and so you'll move. Bar nine, then, then my listening soul you'll move. So you should be sort of making those nice and expressive in Baroque style like that. And my ornamentation for the second verse depends very much on all that sort of stuff. So rather than just singing, pleasures invade both eyes and ear, we get pleasures invade both eye and ear, and ear. Let's just do and ear, okay, about the speed. And one, and ear. Okay, the whole phrase, three, four. Pleasures invade both eye and ear. One more time for memory. Three, four. Pleasures invade both eye and ear. And again, you could then go on to sing so fierce, so fierce, so fierce, so fierce. Let's just try that. So fierce, so fierce, without any ornamentation. So we get three, four. So fierce, so fierce, so fierce, so fierce. But my ornamentation is. So fierce, so fierce, so fierce, so fierce. Do that one more time. Ha 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 ha. Let's just do the ha 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 
and all my senses be stead ah, and all my senses be stead ah. But I put a little one that's ornamentation for you, uh, which will go. And all my senses be stead ah. Okay, I've reached thirty-one. And all my senses feasted are in the second version. Three, four. And all my senses feasted are. Again, let's just practice the ha 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 ha. Your turn. Just a ha. Uh, after three. After three, one, two, three. Ha 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 ha. One more go. Ha 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 ha. One, two, three. Ha 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 ha. Now with the words sens, uh, sens feast, feast, feast. Yeah, that's right. Seh, Seh's feast. Okay, just try that. One, two, three. Seh, Seh's feast. Oh, let's try that once more. I'm not going to start from the beginning because I've been going for 15 minutes. Sorry. Uh, let's do Seh's feast. Okay, Seh's feast. One, two, three. Seh's feast. Okay, let's put all, all the parts of the words. I'll be Seh, Seh's feasted. Okay, senses feasted. With all that aspiration in the quick notes. Okay, senses feast. Okay, one, two. Senses feasted. Ah. Let's do the whole phrase. Probably easier. This is the upbeat to bar 30. Listen to the notes. With my little ornaments. Off we go. Two, three, four. And all my senses feasted. Ah. Let's do the first and all my senses just to put those together. Okay. It's the upbeat of our 29. Three, four. And all my senses feasted are. And all my senses feasted are. Okay, and then you get the next phrase, which I have an ornamentation in. So we just have. For yet the treat is only sound. Do it once slowly. Three and four. For yet the treat is only sound. When we go at that speed, a lot of intervals to go up and down with. Three and four. For yet the treat is only sound. Once more at slightly faster speed. Three, four. For yet the treat is only sound. Okay, then we have the same as before. Same notes, uh, different words. I beat bar 35, so I'll do the whole slightly longer phrase. Sure, I must perish. Three, four. Sure, I must perish by your charms, unless you save me in your arms. Now, notice the breathing is completely different because the words are completely different. We get one phrase, so I must perish by your charms, unless you save me in your arms. So it's appropriate to breathe just in the mid place, which is most comfortable. Let's just do that again. Upbeat to bar 35. So I must perish. Once more. Three, four. Sure, I must perish by your charms unless you save me in your arms. One more go at that. It's a bit tricky. Upbeat to 35. Three, four. Sure, I must perish by your charms unless you save me in your arms. And I have the same ornamentation for the second version of that phrase. Again, it starts on one note lower and then it's a similar phrase. Okay, so we have, Sure, I must perish by your charms unless you save me in your arms. And a little twiddle at the end. So a little affectation at the end that goes with that against the harmony. Um, because it goes to the words, sure, I will perish against your charms. We want a little bit of that little angst at the end. Again, even Tub does that very nicely. Um, let's just do that final phrase together. Uh, and again, with these little ornaments, try not to sing it too evenly. It's not within the style to go, sure, I must perish by your charms. That's a more romantic later style in the Baroque style. Not that it's my forte, but it's better to do to accent the the interesting note, sure I must perish by your charms. That sort of ebb and flow is more within the style. Let's just try that, the upbeat to 40. Three, four, sure I must perish by your charms unless you save me in your arms. 
and a little slow down at the end because you can tell the audience you're about to stop amongst anything else. Okay, let's do the whole of uh, verse 2, bar 23. Okay, three, four. Pleasures invade for what I have planned. So this, so this, so this, so this, the trance. What are they wound? And all my senses be stayed are. And all my senses be stayed are. For yet the treat is only sound. Sure, I must perish by your charms unless you save me in your arms. Sure, I must perish by your charms unless you save me in your arms. Okay. Let's try the whole song through from the very beginning. If music be the food of love, to on, sing on, sing on, sing on, till I am filled, I am filled with joy, for then my lips sing so you move, for then my lips sing so you that can never cloy your eyes, your mien, your tongue declare that you are music everywhere. Your eyes, your mien, your tongue declare that you are music everywhere. Pleasures in Slip an extra breath in if you wanted to. Uh, me in your arms. Okay, um, as I said, I've got that in a couple of keys um, on the YouTube video, just a compliment, so you can do that. Let's just try, if you're a soprano or tenor, doing it straight away in the higher key of G, which I think is the original key. Um, please correct me. Um, uh, if you're an alto or a bass, um, maybe don't give it a go, give it a go to a, to a top G, but if you're feeling very heroic, do give it, give it a go and then maybe join the sopranos or tenors. So, it's at this pitch. If music be the food of love. So this is the key in G major, if you're looking at the YouTube compliments, the other one's in D. Okay. Uh, here we go. I can suddenly slip into tenor range. Two, three. If music be the food of love, sing on, sing on, sing on, sing on, till I am filled, I am filled with joy. For then my listening soul you'll move, for then my listening soul you'll move to pleasures that can never cloy your eyes, your mien, your tongue declare. Let me. 
hope you enjoyed that. It's a fabulous song. Purcell, obviously a fabulous composer. Have a good week. <laughs>